drip, splash. I need a mop on this damn stage. Whip, lash. I'm bending these blocks, ain't a thing change. Get cash, forever it's never enough, bitch. I save change. Big facts. I'm leveling up to the same lane. Drip, splash. This song that I'm going to be reacting to is called Welcome to the Revolution by Hi Res and Jimmy Levy. This song was requested by Casey Hoffman. It's the same person that requested the um, Tom McDonald reaction. Well, one of the people that um, that um, requested the Dear Rappers by Tom McDonald. So again, shout out Casey Hoffman. And we're going to go ahead and react in three, two, one. We will not comply with the institutions, sick illusion, no, it won't be televised. Welcome to the revolution. Won't be televised, government been telling lies If you're not with us, you better step aside Witnessing the genocide, everything is centralized The food that we consume and they spraying it all with pesticides Yeah, uh, mm. Yep, if you're not it, it, And this is probably, he's probably speaking to me on this Because, again, I don't dive deeply into politics But I do, I do, I do agree with the people That are not, like like, I resonate with the people, the American people, that are not, that that just want to live, that just want to live comfortably, that want to take control of their own life. So, I, I, I resonate with the American people, man. I'm an American myself. I don't agree with the government and everything they do. I think, if not all the shit they've done, most of the shit they do is evil as fuck. And he said... The food that we eat has been sprayed with pesticides. I agree. So, I mean, all of these diets are just trends. Because, let's be honest, all of this food has been tampered with or cloned in some way, shape, or form. So, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. So, that's why they say you can't have too much of anything. That's why they say eat in moderation. I, I, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. They identify the sheep and the snake, the real and the fake, giving us a reason to pray. I'm gonna make my own choices, a voice for the voiceless. They trying to destroy us, avoiding the poison. It's all pointless if you don't have a purpose. If you read the verses, you'll know who we verse it. Government can tell you what your worth is, look deeper than the surface. They don't need. That's a fact. And that just goes along with you taking control of your own life, which is why I'm so glad my mom and dad instilled that in me. Yeah, I may not have a lot of this, I may, have not, I may not have a lot of money, but because a lot of people think that you have to have billions on billions and probably even trillions of dollars to say that you got your shit together. There's a lot of people out here that are probably rich that don't have their mental in order. Crazy to say, but it's an honest thing. Because it all starts here. If your mental's messed up, if your heart's fucked up, then chances are you're, you're probably, I ain't gonna say a bad individual, but you need to get that shit in order. Start with you. Start with your mental health and your physical health. I guarantee you everything else will fall in place. Don't want you researching or asking questions. We all being tested. Shut your mouth and comply. That's the message. Want you to rest on prescriptions. That sign that said where there is risk, there must be choice. So true. So true. And I'll say this. And I don't know how many people will agree with me. But... If you want to make a decision that you that you know you can stick with, look up the pros and cons, right? Once you know that, 
Remove the pros from the situation. Think about the cons. If you can, you deal with the cons of that decision that you're about to make. And if you can, and you know you can, then more than likely that decision is for you. If you can't, shy away from it. And I say this because I've mentioned this in another video. People have made decisions that they didn't like and regretted it later on. And the things that they wanted to do, they didn't do. And they regretted it. And they, they regret it later on. It, it's crazy. So, just some advice from me. I'm not. I'm not. The, I'm not the smartest cookie in the jar. I don't care about being the smartest cookie in the jar. The only thing I care about is being a human being. At the end of the day, that's it. Nothing else. Oh yeah, my family too. But if you ever want to make a decision, just weigh out the pros and cons. Well, figure out what they are. Then take the pros out of the situation. If you can deal with the cons, that decision is for you. With your head got you stressed, it's a pressing expression. We will not comply with the institutions. Sick illusion, no, oh, it won't be televised. Welcome to the Yo, keep the money. I just want my soul. Oh my God, bro. And he's a rapper. So you is now coming out. Well, it's been coming out for a while. It's just now more in your face, and more people are starting to talk about it. These most of these rappers sold their soul to the devil to make the millions on millions and even trillions that they make. So you're going to compromise your morals and values for some money? Hey, more power to you. J. Cole, I think J. Cole said it, and I, I, I preface this song all the time. Go listen to Love Yours by J. Cole. Go listen to it. He even said there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. I mean, the, 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 the picture of what you're seeing may look better, but how do you know that that's real? How do you know that's not an act? For example, I... Me, I consider myself average. Set by the, the standards set by society, I'm average. That's just according to society standards. Because I don't make a lot of money. I don't have a, 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 the newest ride. I don't have the biggest house. I don't have all the women flocking to me. But you know what I do have? Family, positivity, be honesty, all the small things that people overlook is what develops character. The f and patience. Patience is a virtue. A lot of people want a lot of stuff right now. Me, I don't care about whether I have it right now or not. Why? Because it's just a thing. And if you do want it, you got to put the work in to get it. I don't have my own place. I'm living in my mom's place. But I am working to at least get out of my mom's house. I'm working towards it and I know it's going to take time. I'll tell you this. I'm, I'm moving back to New York. I'm moving back home.
I miss it. The only kind that's probably, and I've said this to, to so many people, the only kind that's preventing me from moving back is the high rent. But then if you think about it, people in Cali, all the way out on the West Coast, the rent is high too. So, New York is not the only place with high rent. That's the only thing. But I've lived in New York. I'm from New York. I lived in New York. Although I grew up in North Carolina, I went. I moved back to New York. I've lived there for 10 years before moving back currently. And I survived. So if I can survive 10 years up there with not a lot, not a lot of money, I mean, I'm working jobs, but of course, that's a product of making money. Am I working towards doing something better for myself? Yes. But the reason why I don't talk about it a lot is because I want to see that happen. And once it does, by the time that I'm talking to somebody about it, it's already happening. This is why I don't talk about my dreams and stuff like that on camera. Because I want to see it come to life first. And then, once it's already there, and it's progressing more and more, then I start talking about it. Every group, including the Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, hell, probably even the government, have people that are above them telling them what to do. Those in this world are the those who oppose while me hopeless and broke like I'm nowhere on boats. I'm just trying to tell them all about the flood. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my blood. Man, I came up out the mud. Only God is my judge. I don't listen to these politicians. They the real thugs. Won't comply with the lies. They disguise it as science. They want you comply with the media's bias. These corporate giants are capitalizing on us by dividing. But I'll keep on fighting. Alright guys, that was Welcome to the Revolution by High res and Jimmy Levy. This is the last video of the week. Um, again, thanks Casey Hoffman for the request. Um, again, I do want to say thanks to everybody that requests content on this channel from the beginning till now. Because without that, we wouldn't, this channel would not be what it is today. And what it will be in the future so again I will leave a link to my main channel so because I'm taking requests also on that channel um, if you have anything else that you want me to react to please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you shout you out in the reaction video and make sure to like, share, comment. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so you will be notified when I upload. I uh, will see you next week with three brand new videos. In fact, let me read them out of what they're going to be because I do write down requests. So, 
Next week's videos are going to be Chris Webby, Raw Thoughts 5, Mises, Director, and Nick Natoli, Donald Trump, My President. And these are the three songs that I'm going to react to next week. So I will see you then. Again, try your best to stay positive. Um, make decisions that you will be, that you know that you will be good with and just live your life. That's really all I have to say. I, I can't say much because I'm just like you. I'm just a man behind the camera. So with that said, I am out. I will see you again next week with three, three brand new videos. Y'all enjoy y'all morning. Dante Brown is out.